Welcome back, folks. Uh, Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great Christmas and uh, a New Year period. Uh, I was very lucky to be away over in New York uh, from sort of the day after Boxing Day uh, up until a couple of days after New Year. Absolutely fantastic to get away. Uh, Saw some really cool stuff when I was over there. Visited uh, World Trade Center Plaza. I got to see the Ghostbusters Fire Station, which is sort of a lifelong ambition of mine. And uh, yeah, it was. I got to see the USS Intrepid as well, which was awesome. The Cold War Museum, really, really cool to see that. Um, I have lots of stuff on the way. Um, I've ordered loads of things. I have stuff arriving in the post over the next couple of days. So there'll be plenty of content coming up over the next couple of months. Um, I'm going to stick to the schedule of doing a video once a month just to give me a bit of time to do stuff. I think thank you to everybody who sort of subscribed and has stuck with the channel. Uh, There'll be loads of stuff about the bunker coming up as I start to get it ready for open days this summer. And there'll also be loads of stuff on Geiger counters and reviews and things like that there. So what I wanted to talk about today is um, plutonium. Now, say the word plutonium (laughs) to people who sort of are interested in... uh, in physics uh, they get a little bit scared Uh, it's very very difficult to get your hands on plutonium which is probably a good thing Uh, i was contacted um, about four or five months ago uh, from a collector over in ukraine who had got his hands on some old soviet era smoke detectors and the inside of these smoke detectors just so happens to have a plutonium source so I purchased two of the sources off them they arrived recently and uh, they're in here now obviously plutonium uh, does not give off any gamma um, obviously the decay products will give off a little bit of gamma but they're mostly um, alpha particles so um, I've got my thermometer we're going to look at that um, I did some gamma spectrometry with the uh, rally code which is really really cool over a 24-hour period so we're going to have a look at that and um, we'll talk about that a bit more in depth in the video so i'll get set up here and uh, we'll get the top off this and uh, we'll get the video started okay so i have the source in here now these come from a soviet air rid6 smoke detector now the soviets made a couple of smoke detectors with radioactive plutonium plutonium sources in them one was the rid1 which um, is pretty famous because the uh, the plutonium source in it is very 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 strong Uh, these are about five uci Uh, so they're not ridiculously radioactive but uh, you know it's still plutonium and it's still man-made obviously the cool thing about having plutonium is it is a man-made source now i have two cameras here just so you can get a little bit closer to it and there's the sources and i'll put a couple of photographs up on the screen uh, about what an rid6 smoke detector looks like so as those are on the screen i will get these out of the plastic bag so hopefully you can see the two sources sitting there and i'll actually get this camera and I'll go right down into these so you can see them I'll lift them up as well but that those are the sources now there's two sources in each smoke detector and the plutonium is in behind that little so the, basically the white bit there you, know, you can see the blue it's sort of in behind that so I put those there I'll put the camera back over here so you can because I want you to be able to see the uh, thermometer as well so if I grab the thermometer so I'll grab this one
so we're pretty much on a thousand mic receiverts there in alpha and then we'll try this one here so this one's not as strong it's about 500 mic receiverts so yeah very very interesting little Yeah, it's nearly maxing out. This one here is nearly maxing out the uh, the thermo. So yeah, in alpha, those are pretty strong. So you would not want to be ingesting these or uh, grinding these up and breathing in the dust. Turn the camera around a wee bit more. So yeah, pretty pretty dangerous if you get these into your body. Uh, that wouldn't be good at all. So I'll put them there for a second while I let the thermo tick over. Now, what I also did was I did some gamma spectrometry with the radio code because, well, at the end of the day, that's what it's for. So I uh, did a background, uh, basically check, left it for 24 hours and uh, let the radio code sit and just detect normal background radiation. And I'll put some photographs of that up now on the screen. And uh, you can just see there, the green line is the is the background radiation. And the orange um, upper part is then another 24 hour check of the two sources. So uh, I left these both sitting and I put some lead shielding around them and I put the uh, radio code up against them. And I left them sitting for again for another 24 hours. You can see there are 24 hours and or 24, one day or two hours because uh, the battery actually went dead at one point. In this, so I had to charge it up again. So it was about roughly about 27 hours. Uh, I did the check for and you can see there the heightened then levels um, in gamma. Uh, and that's that's the decay products. So it's picking up, as you can see there, americium uh, is one of the main decay products of plutonium and obviously again you want to be seeing that because it's man-made it shows you that this is a man-made product it's not naturally occurring so you've got a man-made product there that is being that's being detected uh, so yeah very very interesting being able to do gamma spectrometry on things like this here because uh, you know it's not very often you get uh, actual plutonium and uh, yeah quite nice to be able to get that and there was a bit of cesium in there as well it was picking up but that's the gamma there as you can see it is not a lot you know it is not massive gamma but still you know you wouldn't want to be sitting beside this day in day out um, normal background here is about well 0.16 so you know we are a good bit above background yeah, it's, uh, it's great to be able to say I have some plutonium. Obviously, not lots of plutonium, but uh, I think uh, just enough plutonium <laughs> just to be able to say uh, I have some in my collection. Now, I was talking about americium. Um, in the UK, we also put nuclear products in our smoke detectors, and there are some little americium pellets. Americium-241. So I'll show you what that registers. So you can see there the five of those peg the thermometer. So they are quite radioactive. And uh, yeah, we had them in our smoke detectors here in the UK. And if you get an old smoke detector, you'll, uh, you'll still find those inside. They're quite a nice little... Uh, Quite a nice little piece to have but uh, yeah something i found out recently and it's 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 not involving the plutonium i'll put that one side um it is actually about the radio code uh these bags i've noticed a few people having problems with their, getting the devices wet or they're worried about getting the devices wet or get them contaminated so what i tend to do is i keep mine in uh, little plastic pouches and amazingly the pouches for us in the uk anyway that you get with the COVID 
lateral flow kits are exactly the right size for uh, the radio code. So instead of, you know, you can get free lateral flow kits at the moment um, from the NHS. And uh, there you go. That's where you can store your radio code inside those. So I have uh, had quite a few tests um, with my job. So uh, there's the bags there. So I have quite a lot of them. So that would be the bag you'd put your sort of the waste bits and pieces into your swabs and things like that there. And then you would uh, throw that in the bin. But no, I keep them and I use them for that. But uh, yeah, really, really interesting to get that plutonium. Um, I definitely won't get any more. I think that, you know, that's more than enough to have. I, um, I don't think anybody needs to have any more plutonium than that. And uh, I don't want to be accused of... Uh, trying to do anything that uh, is against the law uh, but you know this is uh, safe amounts it's perfectly legal over here to have this as long as it's stored correctly and uh, I keep all of mine in uh, lead pigs and all my check sources are properly stored and uh, kept away from uh, from everyone in the house but uh, yeah I'll have another video coming up soon on the radio code um, talking about the software updates and also um, a proper case for it that they've just released and I've been sent one um, by Scan Electronics, the company that makes them and they very kindly sent me one to test it. But it means basically you can, it's an arm band so you can put it around your arm or around your ankle what have you. So if you're in an area where you like to test you know closer to the ground or if you're out for a jog you can you can use it with that. But, uh, but listen folks as always thank you very very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again very very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.